You know, it helps when you've actually got the right audio devices selected. Then you can be heard, and then you can talk about things. But at least it coincided nicely with the, uh, the starting of the game itself. So we're playing more The Last Campfire. We're going to probably wrap it up tonight. This is Robot Friend, the builder. The builder made us a fox boat. Hey, Christy. Yeah, sorry. It's just... Uh, ugh. Um, I got a new USB hub, and so after plugging stuff in, apparently it changed the device name, which is troubling in its own right. But that's neither here nor there. Windows, why are you like this? Oh, there's a giant mecha snake. I forgot mecha snake. We've met so many fun animals this time. And also one terrifying one. But Ember already loved it. I love... We have the autumn fox. Maybe it's a little conventional. I don't care. It's very cute. Yep, this is still a weird mechanic. I'm convinced they're gonna make us use it for a uh, for a chase at some point. E. Uh, yep, there. Still a very cute game. Got to remember that I can kind of mix and match between point and click controls and WASDA. So, Christy, I hope you're having a good night. It has been a an interesting Thursday here. Not a bad one, but uh, just a it's uh, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. Thursday has been a lot, is what I'm saying. Um, did we go over here already? Well, we know this way. Back to the left is Snick, and I don't want to get et by Snick again. So we got to find a Snick solution. Oh, hi, friend. Uh, there's not a. I need a thing. I need a. I need a, a what's a thing? I need a ladder. Whoop. Hiya. I guess we can't go through that. We cannot go through that. <laughs> I'm going okay. Got Slime Rancher going. Excellent. Slime Rancher, wonderful game. Good for days like this. Uh, let's see. Am I missing something? Okay, so this is a shortcut back. There's a, a ladder there. Um, yeah, like I said, it's not been bad. Um, so the, the long and short of it is I woke up this morning and I had one kind of big thing that was going to be happening in the afternoon that I was kind of uh, in a very like you're going to res be responsible for making the, the tech work on this stuff um, and I'm like okay I can do that but I had nothing else to do so I'm like okay cool I'll have all morning to like try it out and make sure it all works and, and test things before we go live and I'm you know suddenly uh, uh, doing this in front of like the entire college um, the stranger whispered seen one just like you around here a lot Creepy that one is, peeping out, watching you. I think we've talked to you yeah, before. We must have been here and I just didn't activate the shortcut. Um, but then, like, by the time I woke up, I had a request for a meeting uh, at 8.30, and then, like, three more meetings came in. And by the end of the day, I got to the end of it and it ended on a happy note because everything actually somehow went well the first time, which was great. It never happens. Um, but, like... Up and like the whole time, I'm sitting there going, I'm not gonna have any time to try anything out before go time, so we're just gonna have to hope. Everybody, just hope, hope with all your heart. Um, so it's one of those days where, like, if it hadn't worked out, I'd be having an awful Thursday, but it did work out, and so I'm just kind of like, hum, 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 hum. No, it's fine, okay, it's fine. A frantic day that's the word I've been searching for this whole time, and a frantic day. But now we're playing The Last Campfire, which is not a frantic game. Assuming that we... I mean, it will be when we get chased by the Mecha Snake, but until then... <laughs> eh? Oh, friend! Oh, speaking of, hi, hello. A tremendous, terrifying shape slithered from the shadows. It's the gorgeous! Around the floor like a scaly shield. Oh, it's gonna... It's gonna... It's defending the friend. It's defriending. That's probably something else. I know defrauding is a word. I'm pretty sure defriending isn't. I know unfriending is. There's a lot of words that don't make a whole lot of sense, huh? Um, um, horn, horn, horn. What's that? There? There. Oh, okay, and then we go up here. Here. Lanthorn. Down. One more. There. And then over. Ha. Sessy and peep. 
Think I made that joke last time? Don't even care. We're gonna do it again. Uh, we, I thought we did this, but yeah, we did this by accident a second ago. All right, so we can bend that to rotate it. That's cute. I'm glad we. I'm glad I messed up and did that by like the missing the thingy. Journal time. Play at the feet of fallen statues, simple, splashy, happy little hoppers. They seem content in the home they've made. I love it. I love. I love that the journal entries really do go immediately from like this is cute and cheery to this is horrifying with absolutely no warning at all and no in between. We're starving in the desert and there is no food. My companion thinks there's hope, but I think there is none. Followed immediately by shit like, uh, oh, look at them, trotters in the air. And I'm like, but, but how, what? Okay, so let me see how we do this. Go up here. Can I move this thing? Nope. It looked like the crystal could be turned, but the handles were retracted. Okay. What's this thing? Inside was a lighthouse crystal, long extinguished. Alright, this is the thing that looks different, so I'm gonna guess that that's maybe where we're going, ultimately. Did we lower this? I don't think we. Have we been here? I don't remember if we've been here before or not. Here. Hi, right, what do you do? Like the crystal could be turned, but the handles were retracted. That one's also retracted. Alright. Hmm. Alright, let's get back in the boat. Do, 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 do. Boat. Hey, better. How many campfires have we seen so far? So let's see, there was the first one was the forest, second one was the swamp, and I can't remember if this one has a name. So I think we're on campfire number three. Also, hello. Is there a ladder I'm missing here? Oh, there's a friend. Friends are like ladders, in that sometimes if you're not careful, you can step on them. Uh, hmm. I don't see a ladder. Okay, so there's got to be a way through there from here. Come on back. Come on back. All right, so we can... Got it. Got it, got it. I see now. I see what I did wrong. That's the sound of the snake wrapping around the friend. Uh, let's get this thing out of the way now that we've got the treasure. Thank you, pipe. I guess it's not actually a pipe. It's not hollow. It's just a cylinder. It's a column? It's a column. Thank you, column. What does this do? Eh. I don't want to do that. Let's do this. We're going to go here. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, I got it. 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 Okay. Now I see what I need to do. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hip. Nope. Grab the thing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, better. <laughs> oh, there's a statue here, too. All right. So this lens should light up the happy fun ball the first. Once they're lit, the, the, uh, the, watch who the, uh, handles pop out. There. It's a weird sentence we just went with, but it's true. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to bring this down. That's what the wheel's for. Let's grab this thing. So we want this to go into the room where all the other ones are. Whoop, noop, noop. Yeah, please. There. Yep. Alright, hopefully. Those have been pretty good about snapping too, so I'm not too worried about, like, being off by a little bit. Let me bring this all the way down. Now we go get it. And we move it here, here, and we set it down. Boop. Come back here. Do that. Because we can go up ladders, but the statue cannot. Which is really kind of unfortunate. How do we get to the friend in the back corner here? Maybe this is how we get to the friend in the back corner. Oh, is it the socket? I was looking for a button. We've always been putting these on buttons, but maybe it, uh, 
It's a, it's a hole. It's a hole. And it is the way we get to the front. Excellent. Thank you, slimes. Time to solve a trauma puzzle. Oh, good. It's another... Wow, snakes and mirrors. That's not the phrase. <laughs> Stranger's heart was in knots. Oh, no. All right. Uh, let's see. Hey, Al. All right, so that's a static mirror. That's a static mirror. So that's what we've got to play around. That's just, just taking a look over here. Okay, that's the lens we're trying to get to, so we got to get it to bounce off that one eventually. And we're almost certainly going to have to use the other one. All right, it's catching this. Oh, wait, you're all static. Oh, we interrupted. Okay. So I do like... Uh, okay. Maybe. And, nope. <laughs> That's not going to help. All right, we're just going to move you out of the way. Let's do you with the, the twofer and see what happens. Woo, that's cool. Stretched on and on. Okay. Well, going by past experience, that usually means we're doing something right. Bring you down the other way. Nope, nope, nope. Back snake. There, let's try and do this instead. Hey. Snake. Nope, that didn't really help us at all. <laughs> uh, hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We can't move this one again without losing that connection. Oh wait, hang on, if we... One more, one more. Snake, please, there. Oh, 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 I think I see, I think I see. Oop, nope, sorry, clicked off of it. We gotta go around the outside. One more. Do like this, I think. I think. Yes, maybe. Yeah. That didn't take nearly as long as our last snake puzzle. <laughs> Those ones really mess with my brain because the the mirrors are also turning as the snakes are moving around, and just trying to keep track of okay. Which which way is it going to be oriented, and what's that do to the graph? Every time is a lot. <laughs> Yay, Mountain Dew friend! Hi, Mountain Dew friend. With tears, the stranger said, "You have reminded me, friend, the beacon." The beacon is lit. Friends call for aid. All right, so now that we have the light, let's head back in here for a light puzzle. Do we attack the snake with the light? So Mecha Snake is coming coiled up around a friend is where we're at. Yep, there they go. And we need to, I guess, scare them off. Let's see what we're looking at here. It's easier with mouse. Got it. Okay, can't do that one, so we have to go through this one. Oop, missed it. Nope. Ember, please. Ember, this. Ember, for the love of God. Alright, fine. We'll go around. <laughs> Does it only rotate one direction, maybe? Maybe that's it. There. Nailed it. Okay, so. And down the chain. Uh, the ladder thing. Still love that little climbing animation because it's adorable. Uh, Alright, and now... There. What's that do? The light acted as a beacon, drawing the snake away from the forlorn. Okay, that's much nicer, actually. Their fear, feeling tiny before the enormous serpent. Okay, so the we just... Was we just lure it to the light. That's not so bad. Body. It's basically like a big mecha moth with fangs. It's fine. It's fine. Who doesn't love a giant mecha moth with fangs? Not this guy. 
And yes, the voice is wonderful. I do need actually need to look up the voice because I, I have a suspicion that I've heard it before, in a different game, but I haven't I haven't IMD beat it. Uh, if I'm right and we do finish this up tonight, then we'll be able to see it in the credits. Friend time, friend time, roly poly friend time. Thank you, slimes. Always remember to thank your slimes. It's very important. It's just courteous. Also remember to hydrate, but that's a whole other thing. Well, this is nice. This is the brightest puzzle we've had in a while. Okay. Oh, brambles. We need to burn brambles. Okay. Uh. Oh, lanthorn. Lanthorn. <laughs> Thank you, Vedra. You are wonderfully on top of those quotes. So bright, so brilliant. And it happened. What does this do? Oh, I need to roll you sideways. Okay, so it needs to be here, but one up, and then roll up. Okay, got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. How do we get you there without you going out is the question. All right, we're gonna have to get it. We have to do this first. Whoop! Right, because that'll get it there. Okay, got it. All right. So now, now I know what I need to do with the cube. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Combination lock. Burn an eight. And ash, their flame had faded. Thank you. I'm I'm noticing that a lot of these puzzles are all about that that kind of like predictive orientation. Like, which way is this thing going to be facing when you have to move it to this spot? The game is super cute. Stranger looked at their hands tearfully. I had forgotten how warm it feels, just being. Okay, I'm going to take a screenshot of that because that's very nice. I'm just going to hang on to that for a sad day. Whoop, whoop, hey, hey. Here we go. All right, uh, let's go back to the campfire. Let's see how many friends we have. Oh, wait, Hank, if the, wait, Hank, wait, Hank. If the snake is here, then maybe we can go on through now. Maybe with the beacon, it'll stay here. Okay, hang on. I'm having a thought, Barbosa. Nope, 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 nope. Sorry, Ember, that's my bad. I love that we have a fox boat. Is it wild that the one thing that's going to get me to replay this game, other than that it's super cute and it is super cute, is that uh, I have to see what all the other boats look like? <laughs> okay, we've already helped that friend. Good. Okay, so this is where our boat got destroyed last time. But now that the snake has the beacon and is enjoying the warmth, which, good on it. We can now go here... Where I see another light puzzle waiting for us. <laughs> I think I said it last time, but I appreciate how they're they're kind of honoring it it's sort of an old like puzzle game rule that each area is on a theme. Oh, hello again. A tremendous terrifying shape slithered from the shadows. But it's it's very pretty though. The hey, it is. The boat is like the latest Spider-Man. We had to collect all the costumes. Exactly. Uh, what is this? It's like, what are you? Uh, is this why we have the net still? It didn't fit, and wouldn't work as a lever. Oh, that's a that's a lever slot. Okay, got it. Let's move this. Oh no. Oh no, it's okay. We can move that 
to there later. That'll be fine. Okay. Uh, once I figured out how to get over there. Let's go this way. I see a slide. Do love a slide. Oh, uh, horn. Horn, horn. Horn, horn, horn. It's still wild. Uh. Oh, got it. Okay. Gotta move the snakes first. Can we move the snakes? There's nowhere to... Oh, yeah, we can. Never mind. <laughs> Interesting. So... Hmm. How does that help us? It doesn't seem to. Uh, can I, like... And then, like... That? Is that the idea? Just to turn it? Maybe? I don't know. I'm making stuff up. Well, I think that is the idea, and we just moved it too far forward. Let's do this thing. Dunk. Nope. Up, 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 up. Treasure. Tre treasure. And the found the wanderer's diary. The earth resists my wishes. The lanthorn will not answer when I blow. I must be rid of it. I hide the wretched instrument deep in a riddle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, well, that still doesn't really help us with this whole situation. Is there... There is a ladder up there. Okay, so we need to get this ladder to there. And that means we need to turn it again. So, horn. Uh, actually, I think we need to move it, like, here. There. Good. And then... Doop. How do? How do? Hey, yep. Hey, we did it. Getting better at those. There, maybe? Can we walk around the rubble? We can! Ladder number one. Ladder number two. Ooh, lever. Yep. How clever, a lever. Sweet. Uh, can we move you? No, you're stuck. Okay. Glad there's a ladder here. Oh, maybe, maybe that's what the lever does. Out we go. Oh, this is very pretty. Friend! I think, I think, no, because there's one back inside. So this is friend number six. Friend number seven is guarded by the snake. We solve one more light puzzle and we're good. I said one more light puzzle. This is clearly also a light puzzle. Uh, I don't think we can, what does this do? Okay. Oh, nice. They're individual. That's not nearly as bad. Uh, hmm. If I do like hammer, not that. Actually, no. Yes, that. And then there. The way home. Got it. We put it on the the thingy, and that that turns it. Okay, so move it one more. The road move you. Way. There. So we're just gonna have to turn it a little bit each time. <laughs> I think that's the orientation we want. There. Oh crap, they can't go over there. Can you go over there? You can go over there. Alright, so what if we just move you out of the way? <laughs> eh, eh, we got this one already pre-configured. There, perfect. Uh, Alright, and then we need to move you... Huh? More. And back. Eh, eh. <laughs> Alright. And then I think I can just do it from here. Healing and yeah, we're getting better at these. Forever. We did, in fact, pass the bit where it wanted the lever. But we have to save a friend.
I like the purple and pink ones. They're my favorites. I feel a little bad about it. Like, you know, all friends are good friends, but the purple and pink friends are my favorite friends. I to go back, but I just went nowhere. Time to go forward, I think. Man, just, just, just doling them out tonight, huh, game? Wait a minute. I just noticed a little indicator on the top left that was like, hey, you have a treasure out here. I'm like, but where? Answer is down here. That was such raw ass lines, exactly. <laughs> Soft drips drip dripping over slick black rock. Something hisses from the dark. That's right out of Tolkien, basically. Like it is it is just wild to me the tonal dissonance of this person's journal, which okay, to be fair, when I was in middle school I kept a journal and it also suffered from tonal dissonance, so maybe the wanderer is just a teen? <laughs> it's a cool mechanic, but my impatientness would be through the roof. I'd do too many irritations and have to do it all over again. Yeah, that, um... Uh... What's the word I'm thinking of? Uh... Plan. Oh, yeah, it was, uh... Please don't touch anything. Where there's that one little three-button dial. And you advance it by holding one of the buttons down, but it only counts up. And when it hits 999, it resets. So, like, if you want to... And all the numbers are multiple hundreds. So you're having to hold down the button, which speeds it up, but then you don't want to go too fast, and that... I'm amazed I had the patience to deal with that thing. <laughs> Alright. Uh, lever. Let's see what the lever does. Nope. The lever. There. Lever! Do we still have the spindle? It's wild. Nope, come here. Nope. There. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. So now the light is there. Uh, Dingle Sprat. We can't go anywhere. Um, okay. Let's hit this again. All right. We're going to lower that back down. Why do I have to get to... I think I needed to move this barrel here instead. I think we might have hacked up. I don't know if that's undoable. I'm going to leave the screen and come back, because if it's as simple as that, I don't want to waste time going around in circles. Uh, luckily, the screen isn't that far away. We might be able to get them from behind. That's a good point. Well, let's take a look. Whoop! The game hasn't soft locked us yet, so I'm tempted to think that you're right, Alan, that it hasn't done it now. It's actually kind of amazing that it hasn't soft locked us yet, because I really some of these puzzles look like you should be able to to put yourself in a corner. But we haven't just walked over the snakes. Oh, well. Hmm. So this will be how we get to the friend once we remove the snake tail. Uh if we go up and over again. The ramp. Go this way. Go back up here. Boop, 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 uh, There's this. Uh, dead end with the rubble. Hmm. <laughs> we haven't walked over the snakes. Really never ends well. It's a fair point. Let's go back down this thingy. Oh, you know what? We can just. There's a slide. Nope, Ember, please. The slide, Ember. Wee hee hee hee! Ah, if we go this way. Ah, uh, it's also a dead end. Back this way. <laughs> In the past, not walking over snakes has gone very well. Raise the plat. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Well, no, because if we raise the platform, then this becomes a dead end, and this becomes a dead end, and then we're stuck. So we do this. I'm going with you on this one, but I I don't because we can't leave this once that's raised. That's where we're supposed to get to. 
but I think we're supposed to go down over this ladder and go over here. Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm a silly. Let's move that. I'm a silly. We had a barrel the whole time. Now we can do it. I don't know why that didn't occur to me. I was so obsessed with the idea that that barrel has to come over that I didn't think push it out of the way and then push it back over. There we go. All right. So now we point this one at the beacon. Beacon. Snick. The light acted as a beacon, drawing the snake away from Aww, the happy light. snake. Embers followed their fear, feeling tiny before the enormous serpent. The forlorn was released from the coil of the snake's body. All right, and we are up here, so we're actually right here. Perfect. We made it. And boom. Seventh friend of the seventh friend. Or in this case, seventh friend of the third zone, which is probably not a thing. Oh, hello. Complex machine. The stranger's thoughts bubbled up freely. Oh, it's another, uh, it's another steam engine puzzle. Can we go through these? Okay. Whew. All right, so... Pipe time. Let's do a Super Mario. At this moment, Ember has already done more plumbing canonically than Mario ever did. That's probably not true, but it felt fun to say. Uh, oh, they have ribbons on them. Okay, so they're color-coded. That's, that's actually really nice. All right. So there's a straight pipe there. There's... Oh, there's a three-way pipe there. All right. Getting fancy. Uh, oh, there's an elbow pipe and another elbow pipe. Okay. Elbow so pipe. Were easily found. Uh, does this one go, like, here? Boom. All right, so I think we need to, to power stairs to get up to the ones that we're missing. All right, so we did that there. We do this here. What happens? There. That's how pipes work. Oh, dip. Okay. So that'll help us get that one once we have a third pipe. Uh, Alright, so if we put the straight pipe here instead it goes to green. Where does green go? Green goes here, and then we can use the elbow. Got it. Okay. So we're going to grab straight pipe. I do appreciate that they color-coded this. That was nice. Grab the elbow. Put the elbow down. Nope. Drop it. There. <laughs> and uh, put that into green. Oh. No, yeah, that's right. Elbow. I'm sorry. Never mind. Ignore me. And the ones that don't have ribbons on them are the ones that go to stairs, I think. Alright. Now we have two elbows. Just like normal. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna put you here. Hey, perfect! Out of the gate. Alright, let's put you there. Get this one here. We're gonna follow blue all the way around this time. York! Put blue here. Thank you, Bad Road. That'll be fun to try and suss out later. Some of the best quotes are the ones that are, are really only spectacular out of context. Alright, so now we put the elbow here. Connect it to blue. Nailed it. Alright. Now we're cooking with grease. Let's give me this. Alright. It's a three-way pipe. I don't see the problem. We have two elbows, which is totally normal. Everyone has that, probably. Uh, okay. So, red goes to these stairs. If I grab this elbow, how do we get to red? How do we get to red? 
Up here? Yes. Okay. So we need straight through there, and then the three-way pipe will go up here, I guess? Yoink. And drop it. Drop, drop it. There. Elbow. Little goes here. It'll be the last piece of the puzzle. Hey, Dave. Now we have two elbows and a three-way, which sounds like much more fun. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's a kind of a weird variant on the, you know, who has two thumbs and some emotional issues. This guy who has two elbows and a three-way. It's a whole other, whole other conversation. All right, we don't need you down here anymore. Uh, where do we need you? We might not need you anywhere at the moment. You're still good, though. You don't have to be needed all the time. There. Okay. So this one goes all the directions. Bloop. And we flip-flop you around. There. Nailed it. I don't know why it showed us that one twice. Oh, wait. Oh, that's why it showed us that one twice. Okay. Uh, curse to me, in all of this, I've 100% lost track of where the actual objective is. I was just so busy making the machine. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Stop. All right. Nope. Nope. We're stuck. There. All right. So we have those two. All right, I bet we need yellow. I bet we need yellow. So let's go get the three for. Oh, hang on. We'll swap you out. Yoink. Oh, no, we won't. We'll swap you out. Yeah. I think. I think yellow is the only one that we haven't done. So we got the elbow. There. Hop. There. That gets it up, okay. So now, we put you down here, maybe? Oh, and then the, I got it, I got it, okay. We put you here, Boop. maybe? No, yes? No, 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 because we don't need three there. I understand now, I understand now. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, well, while we're here, you, bloop, here you go, here, bloop. There. There I go. <laughs> you. Come here. Yeah, there. And stop. Because I think we need to power both green and yellow. And the only way to do that. Ember, would you put it down? I know you like your elbow. Who doesn't? Right, and that gets you to there. Okay, that gets us back to two. Uh, okay. Give me a second. No. Gonna be up and down while I stir the stir fry. That's the best way to stir a stir fry. I th think we need this here. Because I think this is the source. Yeah, I think this is the source. I, go. I think we need it here. I'm overthinking this. Let me back it up. All right, stay there. So that gets it to blue, gets it to green is up there, and we go elbow green to yellow. Elbow green to yellow here. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's the both of the yellows. All right, so then it does that. <laughs> We're going to see that part uh, a bunch. And then blue should be coming out of here now, right? Yes. Okay. Good. Good. That's the part I was missing. Okay. And then we need to grab this elbow from red that we're not using anymore. Yoink. Plop. There it is. Whew. Okay. 
So we were just raising that pillar the whole time to get it up to the third level. Back this way. I love that we ended up with one pipe we don't use. That's really cute. Ah, uh, oops. Well, it's <laughs> the only one way around this. Is it going to show us that cutscene again? No, okay, good. <laughs> Flame. All right, trucking right along. It was a complicated machine. It took me the longest time to figure out that the yellows weren't connected to each other. They were the two like victory pipes, which is a pair of words I never put together before. We're getting a lot of the the like yellow green green blue friends although it's also kind of the water level so that makes sense i think i have to choose for myself all the little resolutions are so cute i mean i'm not surprised the whole game is cute but you know lemon lime friends exactly let's pop out here oop yep hey <laughs> what was it we were talking about like all the obscure sodas I was trying to figure out if Surge was still a thing. I fell down a wiki hole researching the Surge Cola and what happened to it, and boy, that was a that was a time. Let's grab this. It's not officially bottled anymore, apparently, as of like 2015, but it is still sold. Hang on, we said we would visit the builder, and I am an ember of my word, so. It's not as good as the 90s search, but it's still there. It wouldn't surprise me. There was, um... And bear with me on this, because I'm remembering stuff from when I was a teen. There was something that was, at for a while, that was only bottled and distributed in Wisconsin called Nitro. That was, like, four times the caffeine of Surge, I think was the reported claim. And, uh, boy howdy, if you were a 12-year-old who could get a handle on that, you could invent your own rocket fuel. Right, exactly. Uh, oh, about the caves. So nice to have my eye again. Yay! The caves, just as I remembered. The dank, the gloom. <laughs> what are you on, Twitter? The grey walls, the grey floors, the darkness closing in. Home. Now you're just rubbing it in. <laughs> uh, about your eye. What it means to have my sight returned. Volt, I think, came in a blue bottle. I do remember that one, too. To finally watch the sunset again. Oh yay! I've never seen the sun set in this dark cave. If I could. I mean, we've set up enough mirror puzzles. You probably could. We can project it on the wall. I'm not good with others, but perhaps I should have known not to trust the birds. They're always so mean. Oh, balls was the thing, wasn't it? I forgot about that. that should have been a hint. I love this robot. The snake is misunderstood by everyone. Their heart is good. Yeah, so far all they've done is, I mean, they smashed our boat one time by just, like, diving into the water, so I don't even know that that was an attack, per se. And then they just, they're just they lured by warmth, which means they might have been lured by us because we're called Ember, so we're probably warm? They're just a giant metal snake drawn to the light, destroying everything in their path. Goals. Why are people so quick to judge that giant reptile? I love this robot. Just make every single one the same, they said. A boat is a boat. They actually said that to me. A boat building robot. <laughs> How dare. Imagine their faces when I made my first duck boat. <laughs> a boat is a boat. How about duck boat? <laughs> their faces. Yes! Okay, we're coming back to hang out with you when this is all done, okay? It was so nice to meet you. Same. Okay. I'm so glad we came back. This is why you keep your promises to robots. To friendly boat building robots. Who make you a fox boat. There are probably other reasons, but that's many good ones. Ah, uh, does Andy remember where the campfire is? Probably not. Okay, well, if that's there. That's the door. The campfire thing is up above it. 
I think we have to use this one. There. <laughs> a boat is a boat. They actually said that to me. A boat building robot. Can you believe? I can't believe you've done that. <gasps> we're missing a friend. Oh my god, we're missing a friend. I was so certain we had all of them. We're missing a friend. Ghost, tell me where the friend is. Where is the missing friend? Ghost, please. Ghost. Ghost, wake up. Yum. The ghost said, Speak, and I will listen. Help me. East, across two short bridges, seek the forlorn in a dark passage. Okay. I I lost count. I super duper thought we had them all. Alright. To the east. Always to the east. Fox boat. Come on, Fox boat. There's work to be done. Two short bridges, huh? Alright, well, one of them is Jeff Bridges. Is the other one... Wait, hang on. Is it? Is it actually here? Is it up there? Maybe it's up there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Foxboat, you were wonderful, but I think this is actually a job for the land defeat. Two short bridges. Short bridge number one. Short bridge number two. This is also a friend, although it's not... It's not a forlorn. It's just a, a a person who's hanging about and reminds us that there's a weird red version of us that's doing it. It's the second bridge, bro. Bow bridge is nice. Skeleton. Ember felt pity for the skeleton, without a flower to mark their grave. Do I have a flower? I don't have a flower. I can have this. Spindle? Hang on. How about can you have this feather? Ember had nothing to offer. It's a crappy feather. I'll give you that. Friend. Okay, then we gotta go find a flower. Man, we're not done with this place at all, huh? Are they a land stender who stands on the land? Oh, more snakes. Why? Why did it have to be snakes? The stranger had misplaced a memory. Don't get me wrong, these are actually, like, this is a cool design idea. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, so we're gonna have to... I think we're gonna have to heat up all the things. Okay, well, let's free the big one first. Could have set that better. What, what, how does that do? Okay, well, that would work if you were over here, and then you can go over here. Like so. Okay. Okay. Nope. Miss it. One more. There. Up. That's one more area there. Yep. Okay. I think. So this one does need to be here. This one needs to be here ish. Okay. So. I'm going to move you completely out of the way. All the way gone. Um. Gonna move you out of the way once I can figure out how to do that. Hang on, hang on, wait. Uh, nope, that's not it. This way, one, two, three. Close enough, I think. So I can do it like that. That gets you over here. Okay. So now let's put you into place. That's gotta fit there. Uh, no, not quite. Very close, though. Justin. Okay, there we go. And then, ha! Hey, hey, hey. Uh. One, two, three. Only the shape of the sword Oh. Okay, that was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> well, I looked at that and I immediately thought, there's going to be no wasted space. Every single one of these has got to be on a heated square, and every heated square has got to be covered. And I was like, oh god, it's all going to be order of operations again. 
I can't explain why this puzzle game isn't tripping me up the way that a lot of puzzle games do. It doesn't seem like it's using mechanics that other games don't use. I don't know. They might just be easy puzzles. They might just be easy puzzles. They might honestly just be easy puzzles. Hi, friend. Ah, you're one of the good ones. <clears throat> Sorry, forget that. Ignore that. The stranger looked around fearfully. I stayed in the nest too long. Okay, so that's seven of seven friends. We need a flower? Where has there been a flower? Let's let's see. All right. So there's the. Da -da 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 -da. There was an outside. Oh, there's an outside bit here. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do all the outside bits. There's the one that's in the far north of the back north chamber, where we met the friend all alone. There's this. Have you seen a flower? The stranger seemed troubled. I ran away from those birds, but I can't find the end. The forest king offered me a feather. Maybe I should just take it. Okay, so we've been here before because I remember hearing that. Oop, hang on. Well, there's also a chest over there we haven't gotten, so that's cool. Um, um, um. Hang on, let's move this here. Oh, that's right. I remembered last time I could move this even though it isn't glowing. Which is weird, frankly. Just drag you back a little bit more. A little more. A little more. There. I grab this. I think I see a flower up top. I see something glowing. Well, this would have been handy. <laughs> yes, thank you. We put that together all in our lonesome. <laughs> Remember when we were here and I was like, oh, we're not going to worry about the treasure. We're going to focus on more important things. Always go for the treasure. At least when the treasure is lore. Always go for the treasure when the treasure is lore. Hi, buddy. Hi. You were the thing that was glowing. All right, I'm going to use a screen cheat this a little bit. That's a bird on a barrel. There are flowers there. I'm almost certain you told me to go for the treasure, but to be fair, Al, you always tell me to go for the treasure. All right, let me, let me go down here. Just want to make absolutely sure. Okay, there's this. There's a little cave in there. Can we? We can boat around. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're right. There, out we go. Okay. Gotta hold all this in my head. Alright, so. Down here to the boat. So now we're gonna boat out here. I don't know if we can boat through. Oh, we're gonna find out. Gonna find out. There's a, there's a, not really a friend, there's a skeleton who needs a flower, but it's just as important. All right, I'm gonna just go exploring. This is the one that has the patch where we found the treasure in the north part of this room, I think? That or it's the other one. Wait, hang on, this was a big open area, I remember this. This is where we found the, the light. Oh no, was it a, no, it was a cave. I think this is a cave. This is probably nothing. Let's make sure. <laughs> eh? Yeah, this is nothing. Uh, stairs go to the light. Is there a way outside? Is there a flower in the light? And I think it's just a block. All right. No, I don't want to leave a friend sad. Not okay with sad that. Do sad you sad stop cheering for sad friend? Aww. No, bad. Yeah. No cookies. no cookies. Flower first. 
Then cookies. Uh, okay, so... Luckily, most of this area is in caves, so, like, there's only so many places a flower could be. Assuming it's an outdoor flower, which I realize is an assumption. There are probably cave flowers. I can't think of any, but there probably are. Okay, this was the... Okay, so it's the... The western chamber has the outdoor bit. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Down, down. Down, down, down. There, there. So I like that they've had one of these, um, near as I can tell, kind of optional objectives in every area. Like, we got the lotus seeds for the turtle. We didn't really need to. Um, the game would let us go on without it, but, like, you do it, and it, it makes the cook happy. And then also it makes the big pig friend happy because you get a really tasty piece of food. Um, and then in the first one, we gave the worm to the frog. That one we did actually have to do to get all the friends, but, like, most of them... We haven't had to do the thing in order for it to, uh, in order to get 100% the area. But, right, it's exactly what Al said, is that, like, you're not, they're technically optional? Technically optional. Realistically? You know, sure, we could move on without it, but could we live with ourselves? At what cost? Uh, all right. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Man, this one tiny little thing that I think had... I thought I had just a friend in it and nothing else. If it also has a flower, it's going to be one of the most suspiciously packed little areas. Let's go here. Too bad you can't give your feather. I really... Yeah, oh, actually? Oh. No, because we can't just open up our inventory. You're right. Damn, though. It's a good thought. Uh, I don't see... Okay, there's, that's the only thing I can click on. Where is there a flower that I'm missing? This is going to drive me mad. Okay, so that's just the treasure. The fact that this place is all autumnal makes me think that they're not going to put the flower out here. It's probably going to be somewhere slightly greener. Just based on how well this game has done signposting so far. I don't see it here. Alright, let's get back in the boat. New. New. Bonk. Alright. Ah, um, 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 We'll figure this out. I believe in us. Is there a way to boat through any of this? Doesn't look like there is. Let's go back to Robot Friend. Maybe they know. There we go. And oh, was there one here? Come on. Just gonna get to where I can actually like see what's over here. Nope, that's a barrel. There's one area that we haven't been able to reach yet, and it's driving me a little bit mad. Maybe it is from here. <laughs> really gone exploring from this area because, you know, the whole point of this area was to meet... Th there it is. The whole point of this area was robot friends, so why would I go exploring? There it is. This is where we need to be. I feel good about this. Yes, yes. Flower. Flower, flower, flower. Good. They did, in fact, make it super obvious which of the flowers is the flower. Like, that. that's a flower. It's actually... I was about to say it's a white lily, so it's, it's actually perfect for the function we're doing it for. Okay, who wants to bet Andy can remember where the friend is? <laughs> Crap. Alright, they're in a cave. We know they're in a cave over two short bridges. Okay, I remember that. Because we made the Jeff Bridges Bow Bridges joke. Thank God for my terrible sense of humor. I'd be lost every time. Hi, robot friend. I'm going to go help us, Kellington. I'll be back. Nope. Yep. Water effects are glitching out a little bit. It's fine. Eh. Uh, go. Nope. That's the wrong side. 
these two don't connect like everything else does. This way. This way. This way. This one. With the bridges. Thank you, Foxboat. You're the best. I hope we get to take you to the next area. Bridge. Bridge. Cave. I think. I think. Yes. 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 Flower. Ember felt pity for the skeleton, without a flower to mark their grave. Ember, I don't mean to be pedantic, but this is not a grave. That's a skeleton sat on a rock. They still deserve a flower, though. Oh god, it's a huge flower. And I guess a thirsty flower? Okay, we didn't do this for the treasure, though, but you look great. Okay, bye. But I mean, you know, if you're gonna give us a treasure, I'm not gonna turn it down. Ember found it just seems rude. Of journal. In the dark, I slip and stumble, land hard upon my knee. Without thinking, I reach for an absent hand. That... Wait. Oh, an abs... Okay, got it. I'm sorry. <laughs> absent hand, and I'm sitting there thinking, are they talking about the robot friend who only has one? I think they're talking about they didn't realize they're all alone. The absent, fran absent hand is the friend who was with them who wasn't with them anymore, and they didn't realize it. Oh, that's... That's not okay. Uh, well. Well. Let's move on. Okay, there we go. Seven of seven friends and a thing for a thing. The ghost said, You have done all you can, little one. Your journey lies ahead. Your journey is nearing its end, little one. You have cleared a path for others to follow. I love the little one who's sitting out here with I a little frog on a stick. You have gone. I feel bad because one of our friends is a frog. But Ember's gotta eat, I guess. The ghost looks like they have a beak. They do look like they have a, a, a feather, um, like, headband, which suggests a relationship of some kind Only with the, the birds. The king knows where the final campfire sleeps. Ask them your questions. Know that if you return here, you will always be welcome. Good, because we're coming back to see Robot Friend. But, yeah, first let's deal with the Forest King. And find out who Red Ember is. Yay, we get to keep Fox Boat. Best news ever. That's right, I remember commenting on how the door was half submerged, meaning we could boat out of here. Now we know why. Yeah, Fox Boat. Fox Boat. Ooh. The taste of fresh air was welcoming as Ember left the caves behind. Friend. Probably a friend we can't help. Alone was different. A gentle music filled Ember's thoughts. I sang. I was Ember. I was bird. I was forlorn. Oh. None were my true oh. self. I will not go back to flame nor feather. I will find another way. Hell yes. Ember understood. And let them be. Hell yes. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. This episode has been full of some just absolutely top-notch writing so far. Speaking of which, Riz, I didn't miss your thing about, wait, was that the absent friend? There have been, um, because I, I noticed this just from watching the, the VOD from the first time that we streamed this. They're, I won't say that they're subtle about it. They're not subtle about it. But there's enough time in between meeting two halves of the pair. You start to realize that the random non-forlorn friends that you meet 
um, their like comments are line and the Wanderer's Journal and the other forlorn you meet start to paint all of these little crisscrossing stories of companion travelers and for whatever reason they always get separated or one abandons the other or one of them gets lost and tries to get back and so it's this ongoing theme of separation crap there's a red us the red pillowcase that's shaped like we are we're blue I, the game is not subtle and that just took me way too long to figure that out it was oh. quiet. All the birds had gone. But yeah, so like you'll meet a person who will say, Oh, I I lost my friend around here or something like that, and then you'll meet like a skeleton and it'll be like, Oh, I, I tripped and fell in the dark and my friend never came and I'm like, Okay, that got a lot sadder in a hurry. Um they're not quite as as well, I mean, they're kinda like that, but you get both halves of the story usually sometimes very out of sequence and definitely out of time with each other. You've done this. Oh no. The king is gone. Gone. What did you do? Oh no. Telling lies, being tricksy. <laughs> Telling lies? No, papa. We had no troubles till this one. Yeah, what happened? The king is dead. Dead. They'll be coming for us now, all of them. Whomst is them? Who looks after us now? What does we do? I'm not a real bird, just wearing bird clothes. They're not even a real bird. Who look after them now? Oh. Okay. Well, first there's a treasure in here somewhere. Oh, there's a horn. Was that there last time and I just didn't even notice? Does this game make you horny? It makes me lanthorny, which is a whole thing. Whoop, come here. Nope, please. Please do the thing. Nope, back it, back it up. One more. It's behind the bird. There. And over. Nailed it. I just realized it doesn't matter if this was here last time, because last time we were here, like... You walk in the room and you're instantly in a cutscene. We were never allowed to just walk around in here before. Hidden inside was the wondrous journal. Alone I searched. I swallowed hesitation. And at last, the doorway opened. But beyond there was nothing. I did not understand. Welp. It's very dark over here. Let's not be here anymore. Alright, we have to put the we have to put the cubes back. Bloop. Thunk, thunk, thunk. I love how heavy they move. It shakes the whole screen every time they rotate. What's this? I yeah okay. Not like it was, not like it was difficult to intuit, but the guess we made a couple times ago about how this is actually just a whole Wizard of Oz situation. It's a Wizard of Oz situation. Maybe the red pillowcase was also the Forest King. I love how you think. I bet you're right. Chains and pulleys in the base of the chair. We're trying to help people move forward. The Forest King was telling people to just stay here, be comfortable, and be safe. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> I am your god now. The Forest King wasn't real. Oh, oh I love that movement. Oh no. Oh god. Can I, can I pull the rope? I want to pull the rope. Let me pull the rope, please. Got it. This is how they came and went. It did move like a Muppet. You're 100% right. Oh. That's a lot of boats. Broken boats were scattered on the water. 
Uh oh. Hey, look. I bet it's the last campfire. The ghost spoke. Brave little one. Few have made this journey. <laughs> Thank you, Bedrod. This is the last campfire. Your path ahead is clear. Title drop. Roll credits. What you do now is yours to decide. Uh, I, I do still want to help others, though. This is the end of the path. You have helped all who can be helped. It is time to complete your own journey. Okay. A boat Finish the leave, fight. But it belongs to another. You called it, Al. So the only way here is through the back of the Force King. That's got to be Red Us. Seek them out before you move on. I mean, yeah. I'm not alone. And now, the final confrontation. Oh yeah, there they are. Clearing, Ember hopes to find answers. There they are. Hi. Hi. Behind the Forest King's puppetry was the Wanderer in the red cloak. So this is the one whose journal we've been seeing the whole time. A stranger Excuse me. spoke. Why didn't you stop? Why not stay safe in the nest I made? Don't you see? This is all there is. Just the end. What hope can there be in that? The stranger had dropped their mask. Ember knew they spoke the truth. The path goes nowhere, but we sail on regardless. Slipping beyond the horizon, one after the other. I couldn't bear it. In the end, I destroyed the boats. What have I done? Slowly, the stranger withdrew. I wanted to be a lighthouse for others. How do you save others once your light has gone out? Ooh, ooh, okay, all right. Yeah, tonight is just all heavy hitters, huh? Well, we're going in after them. Hi, buddy. I love that Ember just touches the boot. The last hope, the huh? The wondrous thoughts had become twisted. Okay. We got this, I believe in us. Boss puzzle is no match. Hiding every day behind a mask. Wait, nope. Sorry, Amber. Eh. Okay, I love that like diorama of the fire king in the wall. That's pretty cool. Fire King, Forest King. Sorry, it's a game all about fire. It's easy to transpose. Knowing the empty path that lay ahead. Yeah. Inside the dim light was a hidden pain. They had watched those they care for turn forlorn. They had locked their hope away, tried to protect it. And Ember's actions had seemed a distorted mirror. How do you help people when your own light has gone out? Oop, the slimes! Yay, slimes! The slimes are the real MVP here. The wanderer searched for words. When I reached this place, I could see the truth. This is all that there is. There is nothing that comes after. How do you face that? 
I'm not ready. Oh shit, we gotta choose. Uh duh, okay. Those are both pretty good. You pass your hope to others. I turned back, tried to stop the others, built a little nest. What a mess that was. You hope, you try, you fail, and then nothing more. Do ah uh, oh. It matters that we hope, it matters that we try. It matters that we fail. I thought I was saving them, that they would lose hope if they knew. But without an end, they lost hope anyway. The wanderer took a breath. I thought, I thought it would lead somewhere means something. Ember paused. So many places the path had taken them. So many others whose paths had crossed their own. It's okay to be scared. After everything I've done, I don't deserve to move on. Only my boat remains. Take my all. Oh, that's not happening. You're coming with us. Those boats fit too. Leave this place. Ember knew the end lay ahead. Were they any more ready than the Wanderer? I love their little animations. Told you. I do kind of wish it was Fox Boat. Yeah, that's fair. That would be a great one to sail off in. But honestly, I, I think Fox Boat's, Fox Boat's journey has just begun. Now we gotta go find the boat building robot and the frog and the pig and the cook and the fisherman. We have a lot of friends. I wonder if it'll have us like sailing past them and then that'd be really cute. Or we might just, you know, move on. Hey! We're trendsetters! Cool. I appreciate how much time they're giving this. They could have just had them, like, roll off screen and then roll credits. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. <laughs> hey, Lanthorn! Wrong. Fool, doom toots as he pleases. There, I got into all three episodes. <laughs> and there it is. Ah, the real last campfire. The DLC campfire. There's trees, there's an arch, there's clearly more out there, which that I like that a lot. Ooh, there they go. That's gonna be crowded. Okay, like two, maybe three at a time. There is a place where the lost embers go as their light begins to fade.
I love the, just the sound of the campfire. That's a nice note. Okay, that was so good. That was so good. We didn't get stuck. Like, I mean, we got you know, micro stuck, but like, I got all the way through a puzzle game without a guide or without just butting my head straight into a wall for an hour. That doesn't happen on regular games. Huh. Everything about this was cute. Character design, the writing, the sound design, all the stone scraping noises for the doors and moving devices and things. Yeah, this was great. Rachel August, I'm gonna guess, is the narrator. Phil and Toby are probably like the the um the like grunt sounds of the other folks. I have to look up Rachel August. I'll write that down. Yeah, we just, we needed something cute and sweet and good. It hit a very sort of very slightly bittersweet but hopeful note. Yeah, peaceful. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, I was I was interested in this one. I can't remember when I heard about it. It might have been Get Indie Gaming. It might have been before that. But somebody mentioned it and they showed the art of Ember. And I think one of the Lanthorn puzzles. And I'm like, okay, that looks really cute. Um, and so I just kind of had added it to my, my list of little games to keep an eye on. Um, and when it finally came out, a friend of mine got it and played through it in a sitting because it's only like, I mean, that took us like five and a half hours. Um, they, they played through it that night and were just babbling about it, but of course didn't want to spoil anything about it. And so my one question was, it's like, listen, I'm going to be streaming this. Are there any... Uh, content warnings, and they mentioned, uh, well, there's there's like lots of despair. It's, the whole thing's kind of a death metaphor. Also, there's a snake, which I feel like they underplayed. Also, there's a snake, but we don't need to get into that. Um, <laughs> uh, and the, the last thing I asked was, you know, does it? And I, because we also played both of the Ori games, I was like, does it? Does it end on that? Like, it's death, but it's a peaceful death. They're like, no, actually, and that's all I can say about it. And now I get it, because, like, you could still read that as a death metaphor, but it's just so much more hopeful. Like, in all of the other games they've played like this, and let's be honest, we played a number of games that deal with, like, kind of, of cute versions of death metaphors. They always end with people left behind, they always end with, with sad remembrance, they always end with, with, you know, a sense of nobility, but not really, like, togetherness and cuteness. And this ended with togetherness and, togetherness, togetherness and cuteness. Um, and again, it also, I think you could make an argument that this wasn't actually the death metaphor that I assumed it was going to be the whole time. <laughs> Despite the prevalence of ghosts and things like that. It might just be essentially about people moving on to the next stage of their lives. So like a death card in tarot kind of death, as opposed to, you know, the final version. Um, and it might be the final version. I, I don't think it's a mistake to make this a read as a, uh, a death allegory, but like, I don't think it has to be that either, which is kind of cool. Most of them, it's pretty, pretty obvious. There's not really any getting around it. <laughs> this one, there's some... There's some wibbly bits, and I like that. There's a little bit of wiggle room. I have to play this again, not just to get the other boats, because I have to know, I have to know what every boat comes. I'm probably going to Google it. I'm not going to play it again. But I will, well, no, I probably will play it again, because it's really cute. Um, and I want to know at the end there the, the dialogue choices we made, which I was not expecting. Um, I want to know if that changes anything. I want to know if we didn't save all the friends. I'm going to do like the minimum effort run and see if it changes things. Because this might be the good ending. There might be a dark ending. I don't know. Um, damn. That was the last campfire, y'all. Uh, I love the hell out of this game. Um, I think with only a half hour left, I'm not going to try and stream something else. We're just going to go ahead and call it super early tonight. Uh, later on tonight, if I remember correctly, uh, it's going to be Princess Alice over on the Square Lily channel streaming Devil May Cry 5. I 
think I think that's right. Uh, if someone would hit bang schedule in the chat, that's a way to, to confirm. Um, and that'll also list our, our schedule coming up. Let's talk schedule, actually, while we have this extra time here. Um, so next week, we're actually swapping up a schedule. So first of all, no bonus stream this Saturday. Um, starting next week, we're actually going to move to a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Nope, missed it. Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. Got there. Um, so we're switching up. We're streaming three nights a week on the regular. Um, probably fewer bonus streams, but let's be honest, it, they almost couldn't be fewer bonus streams because we've been so irregular with them. Uh, but yeah, Monday, mo nope, missed it again. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I keep throwing extra S's in there. I don't know why. It's the snick. It's got me thinking, tss. Anyway, um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing uh, next Monday. <laughs> next Monday, my partner and I are actually going to try the new Untitled Goose Game. <laughs> Untitled Goose Game two-player mode. No idea how that's gonna work. I want to. We're gonna test it this weekend. Uh, I suspect it will be a lot less puzzle soft, a lot less puzzle solving, and a lot more her biting my tail the entire time and cackling like a mad person. Um, but that's gonna be Monday, and then Wednesday and Friday. I think we're actually gonna stream Hades now that it's out in 1.0 development. I've been getting back into it. You want to talk about games with gorgeous art styles? Holy crap! Uh, Super Giant, boy howdy, is that? that the one of the many things that they are consistent in gorgeous goddamn art style has been true for all four of their games anyway that's what next week looks like um and i think that's all from me thank you all so much i hope you all enjoyed this one as much as i did it's super cute and we're gonna go hang out with robot friend for the rest of all time have a wonderful night everyone have a great weekend coming up and we'll catch y'all around for the next one